what's up y'all welcome back to another video as y'all can see by the title i'm going to be showing y'all how to make the little typing intro that y'all saw in the beginning of this video So y'all already knew this video was coming. I've always wanted an intro like this, so I'm finally going to be showing y'all how I made this intro. This is really simple. This is easy, of course, if I'm explaining it, so yeah. I'm about to go to my album and show y'all everything you will need. Yes, this is all of the things you will need. You will only need three things, but I have four things showing. So the first thing, of course, you're gonna need is a subscribe green screen. I'm gonna show y'all how to get all of this stuff. And you're also going to need a white background, or you can use a black background the apps you're gonna need is CapCut, and you're also gonna need filmora go so CapCut is right there and filmora go is at the bottom you will see it and i'll also have the name written on the screen if i am saying it and you're not understanding what i'm saying first we're gonna go to my intro and y'all can see that i use this incursive font so i'm gonna show y'all how to get my fonts i'm gonna show y'all how to download them so yeah you're also gonna need fonto and you're gonna use pixar as well so i did forget to say that so you're gonna to go to safari and of course you're going to need a black background or a white background if you want the background of your intro to be black you can use black or you can use white or any other color i don't know why i didn't say that you can use any other color that you want to use so make sure that you come on safari and you find the background you want to use for this intro so you're going to search up dofont.com and you're going to go to dofont.com and the incursive font that i have that i used is called britney signature so if you would like to use this, you can come here and it will be right there. So the Britney signature is right here. What you want to do is go over to where it says download, click on download, and you click on download again. And at the top right, you will see that it downloaded. So what you will do is click on it and it will take you to all of your files. If it leaves you on this screen and it doesn't take you to what you just downloaded, all you have to do is go to the search and search up Britney signature. So keep it on here. Do not leave it off of here. And you're going to need this for when we go inside of Fonto. So first, let's go inside of Pixar so that we can save us a PNG. So let's go inside of Pixar. And you're going to click on the plus sign. And you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says color backgrounds. And you're going to pick the very first one that looks like a grid. And then you're just going to click on next and you're going to click on photos or done and save whatever you just have to save this so that we can save a png into our phone so you're going to go inside of fonto click on the camera click on photo albums and insert that png that we just saved click on done and boom so now we're going to go back to files when i told y'all to leave it on this right here and you're going to click the little share button and you're going to click on Fonto and it will take it to Fonto. Now, as you can see, I already have it installed. But if you do not have it installed, then you will click on install and it will look exactly like this that you see on the screen. What we're going to do is click on the screen anywhere and click on add text. And you're going to put your YouTube name in all lower cases because I feel like the lower cases look better in cursive than in all caps. So you will click on font and you will go to my fonts. And as you can see, I have a lot of other type of fonts that I download and you're going to click on Britney signature or you can use any other fonts. I have the better grade one and the same way I showed y'all how to download the Britney signature. You can also download other incursive fonts. You don't just have to use this one. So you can go to Curly Millie and I think this is the one that I used instead of the Britney signature. You can go to Charlotte. You can go to anyone. So I'm going to try the Britney signature one because I did want to try this one. By me having a white background, I changed the color of this to black. You want to click on your YouTube name, go to style and just click on black. Click on done and then you're going to save it. Now you don't have to use the same color I used, but you can use whatever color you want to use. Make sure you save image as PNG so that it can save as a png so now it's time for us to go inside of pixar because this is what you're going to be using throughout this whole entire thing and you're also going to need other apps but go inside of pixar click on the plus sign and click on the white background or black back oh lord that's not a background click on the white background or black background that you saved or you can scroll all the way down and just use the white background that they have or black background or whatever what you're going to do next is go over to tools you see tools right there click on tools you're going to click on crop and then you're going to click on the one that's on the left side of square it says 16 9 that's the one that you want to use 
because that is the perfect size for YouTube and you're going to click on apply. The next thing you want to do is scroll over, click on add photo and insert that YouTube name that we just saved and you can insert it however you want to insert it. So I'll say about right there is good enough. Make sure that it is even and in the middle. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click on apply. I don't know what I just did, but you're going to click on apply and then you're going to scroll over to where it says draw. You're going to click on draw and then what you're going to do is click on the little pencil. You want to kind of move this pencil up some so it can be easy to cover that up. Click on the plus sign and go to the color and pick white. Then you're going to click on the check. So what you're gonna do now is zoom in so that you can see. And at the top, you will see this record button. We're gonna do it backwards. And then I will show you how I made it exactly how I did. Make sure you do this part perfectly because it can be complicated. It took me a lot of tries. You would not be good on your first try. You probably would, but this was kind of complicated for me. So being that my name has like all of these long letters, like the T is the longest one, and that's kind of hard. So. You're going to click on the record button and it's recording and then you start drawing. All you're doing is just drawing over the letters and once you mess up, it's okay. You can just redo it. And as you can see, I messed up. I know I messed up, so you know that is fine. Click on draw again. Now I suggest you kind of like move this pencil up some because it be it's just like it's too small. So we're going to try this again and make sure you change the color to white or whatever background you have. Make sure you change that color to that background. Then you're going to click on record. OK, we got this this time. You don't have to go fast because once we insert this into CapCut, we will already make it fast. So you want to do it exactly how it would look if it was in the beginning. You just want to try your best at it. Y'all, it's OK if it doesn't look the best, but this is how I do mine. I'm going to erase all of that. I'm kind of doing it in order because I'm kind of like really doing this wrong, which is fine. But all you're doing is trying to get this in order as possible. And we're going to do this like this. And we're going to click on export video and click on the video. And you will see exactly what it looks like. You're going to click on done. You're going to click on photos. Now, I kind of think that I did this too wrong, which is fine. You will not get it on the first try, but I feel like y'all would get the hang of it to make it perfectly because it did take me like forever to do this. But that's exactly how I did mine. But I kind of did it more perfectly. So you're going to save it and then we're going to go inside of CapCut. Click on new project and insert that new project. What you're going to do is click on it and go over to reverse and you're going to let it reverse it. All right, so now that it is reversed, you want to go to speed and normal, and you're going to turn this bad boy up. You do not want it to be long. You could just make it like four seconds or 10 seconds, whichever it fits you. I like mine to be kind of short. So as you can see, this is what mine look like, and I don't really like it, to be honest, which is fine. You won't like it. Delete the ending. You probably won't like it, which is totally normal. You can just redo it if you do not like it. I feel like that's too slow. So we're going to turn this up some to like over 10. All right, this is better. This is way more quicker. So we have this part. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click off of this. We're going to open the app Filmora Go just because I wanted this subscribe button instead of other subscribe buttons. You're going to click on new project. You're going to go to other and they do not have a green screen. So what you're going to do is go to Safari and you're going to search up a green screen. This is if you want the same subscribe button that I use, then you have to do this. So what I'm going to do is go to this one right here. All right, so we're going to go to Filmora Go. We're going to insert that green screen, go to new project, go to photo, insert the green screen. And it doesn't really matter what size it is or what whatever it is. You're going to go to sticker and you're going to add sticker. And you're going to go to the subscribe button that you feel like is cute. And I liked it this one. If you want this one, you can use this one. But I did not really personally like that one. I went to this one. No, I didn't. Wrong one. I went to this one right here. Okay, let me delete this. What is this? Delete. And you're going to stretch this green screen out. 
all the way to where that ends and the only reason i'm doing this y'all is because this does not allow you to fast forward this you're going to export it and you're going to turn that all the way up and continue export and we're going to go back inside of CapCut. And we're going to click on overlay, add overlay, go to videos, and we're going to add this right back in. And we're going to go over to chroma key, highlight the green intensity, and we're going to turn this all the way up. And we have our little subscribe button. So on this, it allows you to add a speed to it. So we're going to add a speed to it and to like right here, bring it back some. All right. So this little, the little black line that I have on it is fine. You can go to edit, go to crop, and we're going to crop this over some because we don't want that on there. And boom, problem fixed. All right, so that is how I get my intro. I'm going to show y'all this sound effect that I use. I kind of like the subscribe button to be kind of small instead of big. So there we go. All right, so we're gonna go to YouTube and we're gonna search up a writing sound effect. So yes, you can go to any one of these and find a sound effect that you would like to use. And all you have to do is screen record this. You don't have to download this one. You can actually screen record it because a lot of these were like an hour, like this one for an example. So you can just screen record any type of sound effect that you would like to use. But just know that I did search up writing sound effect and I went to like a lot of them, but you can pick whichever one that fits with you. And all you have to do is add that screen record inside of CapCut. So what you want to do to do that, you want to click on add audio and click on extract it and click on the screen record that you screen recorded. This is the one that I use the pencil writing scribble sound effect to the one that is for an hour. So this is the one that I use. I was trying to figure out where it is. So we're going to click on it, click on add. And by me screen recording and having my microphone on at the same time, it is kind of hard for me to hear exactly how i'm writing so if it's not even i'm pretty sure once i'm editing i will see if it's even or not if it's not even i do apologize because like i said i cannot hear my i can't hear any sounds on here because of me screen recording plus i do have my mic on while screen recording so all right so we're gonna stop it right here because that's where it ends okay so to make this kind of longer because i didn't want it to just end right away I wanted to leave like just a little bit of space on it. Sorry about that screen uh, that screenshot. What I did was just go to Pixar, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. And I'm going to click on fit and make sure that this is the 16-9 ratio, which it is. And we're gonna add our thing right in it like that and then we're gonna save it now the only reason i'm doing this is just so that i can add this to the end of this just so it could kind of be just a little longer because i didn't want this intro to just be you know five seconds and then boom it just disappeared like that so we could just do like that and have it standing just for a little and then boom it'll just go off right into the video so that's exactly how i did this and if you would like the subscribe button animation sound or whatever you can just search up subscribe button or mouse click because that's exactly what i used you can screen record that as well and i'm just going to go to my files and search up a mouse click and you can go to CapCut and pour audio to CapCut. You can use a mouse click or you can use a button click because I actually like the button click. You can search up a ding sound effect for the bell. All you have to do is just go to YouTube and you can search this stuff up. And we're gonna import this and pick the ding that we want. Okay, so I'd rather that one. And I would not kind of recommend nobody to have a song with this because it would kind of sound weird with a writing sound effect and then you have a song at the same time. There we go. And that is how I make my intro. So like I said, I wouldn't really recommend no one add a music or sound to this because it would kind of sound weird. But you can do that if you would like. And the last thing that I did was just add an effect to it. All I did was go to texture and I clicked on this one right here, the folds number three. So this completes the end of this video, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I will see y'all in the next video.